the mirror up here. It's pretty dirty, I probably should clean it so I can see a little better. But I can actually see myself with the drill in there. It's still gonna be a real pain and I still don't know how I'm gonna center punch it so that I do get it in the center so I can drill it. So it's still a nightmare, but we're working with it, boys. We're working with it, and ladies. I know there's a few ladies, but anyway. Well, you know. Well, brothers, Corlin has arrived to the party. I heard it saw sleep. Yes. Oh, no. And it came no. running. It came running. You guys still lost inside here first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. These guys are key, this center punch. So basically, um, I know I've showed this in other videos. It is a, an assortment of center punches, and they're different sizes, and they have a punch in the middle of each one of these. So you pick the size that's right for the hole that you're punching, and then you smack it on there and get a nice center hole to drill properly. My only problem with this is that the stud is not deep set enough to actually get this in the hole to make it center. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the back side of it in the hole, and then I'm basically just taking a mental image of what it looks like there. So when I turn it around, I can make it look identical and hopefully hammer it and get it in the center. We are completely shooting in the dark. If this doesn't work, then we're just gonna be putting the other head on it at this point, which I hope not because I wanna do some dyno in so you guys can see the small changes and how they affect your car. But we're gonna have to do what we gotta do here, so wish me luck. All right, so to give you guys a little better idea of what I was doing, now I got the zoom lens on. Literally going in from the mirror here because I can't see. I was taking the punch. I was taking the punch and putting it in the back side here. So yeah, so I was going in there with the punch. It's really hard to see, but you can see the punch in there. In the mirror, seeing it, and then this is the back side, then I'd flip it around and then go in there with the, the actual punch side. And I did punch it. I think it's center. I have no idea. So again, we are completely shooting in the dark. So now it's time to get that drill bit in there and start drilling. Woo, here we go, this is nervous. Yep. Well, I got semi bad news. It's probably actually bad news, but you know. So here's a picture I just took, which I don't know why I didn't do this before. You can see I am definitely off to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step my drill bit down, because if I get into the threads, I'm definitely not gonna get it out. But if I do a small enough extractor, I'm hoping, like, because like I said, the other ones were easy to come out. Maybe if I put a small enough extractor in, I can still get it out. We're gonna hope for that. See what happens. I still can't believe I'm actually doing this. I've never had to drill with a mirror to you know, extract a bolt before, so this is new for me. Um, we're looking good though, guys. So we're gonna keep on keeping on to see where we get. Yeah, brother. Woo! <sighs> By the way, forgot to mention, these drill bits found on Amazon, they are the best cheap drill bits. They do work. Uh, I've broken a few, but they're like 20 bucks for this whole set. And they come with like these tips on there that make it drill a lot quicker and easier. They keep up with some of like the high end stuff, so I definitely recommend these. DeWalt. I'll put them in the description so you can check them out. Slinging rubs, boys. All right, brothers, I don't know how I did it, but here's a current picture of said drilled hole. And I am pretty close to center. Honestly, still don't know how I did it. You know, it's kind of one of those things you get lucky. I mean, I've done a lot of extracting, but sometimes you just can't win. But we may be here. Well, we only drilled the hole so far. So we're still not out of the woods yet, but we're at least got some of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a torch up in there and heat this head up because that's gonna give me the best luck here because I only got one shot once I put that extractor in there. Is it gonna come out or it's not? So I'm gonna heat this head up a little bit. It's aluminum, so it's not gonna get red hot, so I can't really visualize how hot it is, but I'm just gonna have to go by feel, heat it up some, and then throw this extractor in there and go after it and see what we get here. So this is the extractor set that I have. It's a snap-on piece, but uh, I'm gonna find one on Amazon that you guys can check out. They all work pretty much the same. And another thing is these sockets. These work good for tap and dies too. They're a square socket, so any of these square heads for tap and dies, well, just for taps, and for these extractors, obviously, they work really nice, so I can use a regular ratchet on it and not have to get the big tool that usually comes with it. So I'll put a couple of these things in there too for the description. Check it out. So let's go after this. 
All right, all right. Here comes the moment of truth. We got one shot, one kill. So I'm gonna use the big torches. Um, I have a little hand torch, but I really wanna get super hot really fast, so I'm gonna just use that real fast. And then we're gonna go at it with this guy, quarter drive. It's a long boy, which I'm either gonna break this tool or I'm not, and hopefully it'll come loose, so here we go. I don't know if it's coming out or if I'm slipping on it. Feels like it might be coming out. I think I got it, boys and girls. I think I got it. Oh, I see a bolt coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's only a few things that are more satisfying than this right now, I'll tell you that. Go oh, away. look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool to say, yeah, baby. <laughs> I got it, guys. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was super same day. We got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky today. Oh, we're winning. Now I just got to find those other studs from my other head so I can put one in there. I can't believe that happened. We lucked out today. I thought we were about to put another stud. I thought we were about to put another head on this engine today because of that, but whew, we got lucky. That actually great background music. Like, as I'm extracting it, like, I don't know if I'm getting it. No. Yeah, 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 get into it. <clears throat> oh, 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 yeah, time for exhaust. Well, although, like I said, I still gotta find the stunt. This can go up. We're gonna do that, Holly. Put that up here. Again, we only got two studs to put it on. We got also two studs right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, so that's up there. Now I just gotta find my missing stud, which I gotta go find my box of stings so I can get my head stud. So, we'll be back in a flash. All right, I gotta get to my house because I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So Ari, right, you gotta push it up and past and then bring it back down? Yeah, because you can't go in from, because you can't go in from the tunnel because it's too wide and you can't feed the back end first and go down because of the pivot. So you have to, so I'm gonna move that PCV line on the top, and then it'll give me enough room to get the flange portion, because watch, I'll throw it up in here now. And so it hits that hose up there, stop me from going any higher, and I don't wanna hurt or rip anything, so you may be able to just push it past it, but I don't wanna take that chance. So I'm gonna bring the car down, move that, just detach it from the valve cover, Move it out of the way and then throw this up. Okay, so all I did was, you know, detach this hose from the valve cover, just pinch it with a pair of pliers, slide it back, grab it with the pliers, twist it, and then just pushed it right off. And then I also detached the fuel line and how it's attached to it, which it has two clips. One goes up, one goes down to open up the mouth. And then I just pulled it up and put it over the side. Now I'm ready to put that thing in there. Okay, so the exhaust gasket is in. Now it's the time to throw the header in. Heat it up. Ooh, it said bottom. All the way up. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Oh, here we go. Just gonna watch my oxygen sensor. I'll break it on the way down. I got here. you, sir. Hold on, I'm stuck. There it is. It'll be much easier without the oxygen sensor in. Just saying. Make sure I got on the studs and we're in there. Now it's just a matter of starting a few. Make sure our gasket's still centered. Oh, oh buddy. Alrighty, so we got all the bolts at least tight to the flange. So one thing I wanted to explain at this point, taking it off, I don't care what order, but when it comes to tightening them down, I do center out so that it mats the gasket down and kind of pulls it out as you tighten it down to give it the best seal that you can. And as far as the oxygen sensor goes, I had to reroute it a little bit. So usually it went right in between here, but it makes sense to go around here. And cause now I'm kind of stretching the wire out because of the point at which the oxygen sensor sits on the header is further back. 
and the wires don't get any longer, obviously. So I put it up in here and around the outside here. And don't forget to put your clip in here to make sure it stays there and it won't come undone by accident. And then obviously this is for my downstream, which I'll plug in in a minute. Um, and then I'm gonna tighten up these bolts here first and go from there. All right, boys, you know the drill. We got the header on, the oxygen sensor plugged in, so it's time for a little open header startup and get the juices flowing. Oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> We're about to get a little reckless. Jake showed up, by the way, in the truck. He's a trailer for some stuff later. But we're about to get reckless because I didn't get the exhaust off this thing and I don't have a lift to put it up. So I got a forklift. We're about to pick this John up and get the exhaust out from under it. Oh, y'all did. About to pull this cobalt up. I think I missed a little bit, guys. I hit. I got my damn fork Just on the muffler. The fork, I'll watch. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, what I want you to do? Yeah, what if I stop? There we go. Yeah. Wonder. Yeah, I should be able to just take the muffler off. Although I remember, I what I did to keep it on there is I would I tacked it so that it wouldn't move around because I had issues with it hitting the rear frame. So once I put it together, I tacked it in place so it wouldn't move or rotate or at all because it was, had a lot of problems with it. So I'm gonna have to remove this band clamp and then cut those off. So I need an air hose and some tools. Whoop, whoop. What kind of mechanic are you? What kind of welder are you, bitch? Wow, the physical, the mental abuse right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like I cut them and then just never tacked it the last time. I don't know why. But uh, so it looks like you can probably just hammer just this rear muffler off and I should be able to wiggle the rest of it out once I release it. So let's do that. Yeah, so this thing leaks a little bit. <laughs> the tilt function leaks. So I had it like all the way up and now it's starting to weep down a little bit. So I gotta get this out before it goes down. What's the point of having the spring in there anyway? Where he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, Maybe. <laughs> All right, boys. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut it. There we go. We got it out. All right, took a couple couple different tries. I had to cut a couple different parts out. Ugh. Oh, this is not not a good muffler anymore. It used to be cool. I wonder if I should still use it. Cause I like this one. It's not as loud as the other one, but the car is pretty obnoxious as it is. So I may just put this one on. Cool. Now I can get it onto the other side. All right, brothers. This is where I'm gonna cut it here. We got the header up, as you see, but. I still have quite a bit of fabricating to actually get the exhaust the rest of the way up of there because the flex pipe, if you remember from my older videos, it broke. So I got a new flex pipe to put on it, but I got to cut that one off and then fit it in the car and weld that together and then obviously get the rest of it together. So I still probably got a couple more hours and it's getting kind of late and we're not gonna finish this off today. But anyway, at least you got enough for that, putting the header on and everything. Got any questions, let me know. Like the video, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you on the next one.